What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off about last time, we had a couple of major, well one major fight in India and secured Akbarabad. And I think well, I could scoot all the way over there but it'll take too much time. And we successfully secured it and now we are engaging against the Russian forces in Yelgava to open up uh, a front or a route towards Vilnius or to start to threaten Königsberg. But this area I think will be under threat um, soon. I haven't laid siege to them for a while, but we have significant artillery forces, so we will attack and dig the Russians out of any cave. I think I'm also. I think I'm going to want to. My, so the garrison I'm recruiting in Courland, I'd want to move that up to. No, not Courland. No, Estonia. Um, I'd probably want to move that up to Courland. And then send this army southeast to take Vilnius. Because then we Kiev and um, Konigsberg. Okay, let's get ready to okay, let's deploy a bit back. Let's work on this on two fronts. Because your bucket loads of really good howitzers. We can afford to take a bit of time. Um, but a similar vein to before, I might want to deploy a unit of cavalry up here, ready to intercept their artillery reinforcements. Let's take the grenadiers and a chunk of infantry, have them back here. Good. This is all light infantry, but we've got a boatload of. Yeah, you're good there. there. Then we're also going to have a unit of line, which I don't know where they'll go. We'll just sit here for now. So as as bodyguard ready. And cavalry ready to respond if they try and sally. So let's fight. You guys go for that section of the wall. You guys are flying quick line. You go for that section of the wall. Oh, they're right on the other side. They, oh, I think they're cavalry is right on the other side. take this cavalry unit and then let's bring them back towards this area. Yep, they're going to get some pounding from, from the mortars? Nope, not from the mortars. Some marines. My cavalry's on the move. So I absolutely do want to straight in. They want to deploy stakes. Good, now we'll just engage them straight off, straight off the bat. The X-Pan Infantry, you go for the Marines. Because the, the Marines are who we're... Are the type of lands we're worried about. Ooh, that was an excellent one. Hmm. They have successfully managed to man this unit, but with a really, really funky formation. We lost one cavalryman. Yes, you are tired. However, we will take that tiredness. Please. Perfect. Let's walk them back. some guards in the corner, it's not to like, and make sure you keep hitting the marines. This unit of marines because they're now more depleted. Looks 
to always like having the gaps. Wow. Pretty big. Okay, let's make you go back to them. Um, I always like having uh, my assault move in at once, so it means they can't fo ever focus their firepower in one area. So I might speed up time again. So all we're doing is just blowing the crap out of them with artillery. As long as they don't destroy any of my guns, then I feel then I'm okay. Yeah, so you've done enough damage there. Go for that garrison line infantry. Are you still going for the marines? One more volley, and then that's the end of the wall. Boom. Good. Now go down there to garrison it. Or not to garrison it, but to protect it. Now you are our new target. And this battery is not really doing anything. Shot. Oh, I can't shot, shot the breach. Just keep round shotting the breach. Just keep pouring fire on an attack ground move. Right, okay. And this is going to be a bit silly now, so that's. Move up. Hold on, make you hit this section so you can hopefully make a breach. But also, if you can destroy these, this walkway section, then. God alive, these guys are getting chewed. Blow up this breach. What to be honest, could I just sprint some cavalry in there? That'd be funny. Change the targets. Yep, here comes their artillery. So, how I say I don't normally like piling guys up outside? Um, I kind of am this time. I'm not going to have them climb the walls. I'm going to have one guy climb up, capture this wall, and then pour it in. Good, you target this bastion. I don't know how much damage you have to do to make it uh, non climbable. It's not their general, but it's. Okay, I sent someone to climb up here because I knew that I, well, I didn't expect them to, to abandon the wall entirely. So you actually will go this way to act as a bulwark because they are going to come out and around and they line infantry guards. Let's just pick this. This artillery unit. Nope. Actually, don't worry about that. Make sure you do climb up. Do round shot and start plinking the general. It's wholly not as effective. Okay, fire shot, carcass shot, in it comes. Damn, that was pretty good. You might die, my friend. 129th. Climb the wall. I just want someone up there. And then let's get ready to commit these guys to the melee that's going to ensue down here. Ah, they've changed their minds. Gatehouse is ours, and then pour in. Yes. 
to say, just go through the gate. <laughs> You're in good position. Yeah, they didn't really know how to react to this. Well, they can't react to it. That's the problem. Just look at this. The infantry is pouring in. Engage their infantry. Let's get a bit more specific. Let's get. Hit hmm. the mortars. I would shoot at them, but. My grenadiers to charge in against the general. You join in the fight against the cavalry. There you go. Your breaching forces have no. No, your def your defensive breach forces have no impact on the battle. Come on, you guys, climb the climb the walls better. We should be able to. You guys charge in. There you go. Don't, don't let a mortar garrison get away with it. Although they are pretty close in uniform. I don't know. We, they have... Little... bunch of men to this but you just get a bit more action going on. Focus on the provincial militia because I want to see if we can get the melee the uh, morale issue to cascade. Provincial lines, we need three of them. Can you guys keep firing? Because there's garrison guards that dare oppose you. Oh, these men are blessed. He wasn't. So you know the other unit of Marines is coming into the mix. What I wanted you guys to do was to take up positions on the fire step. But I would accept not having that happen. There we go, let's end it there. Heroic victory and the securing of course. Really, anything that uh, Aust that uh, Russia can do about it. Perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's repair the royal palace. Begin the replenishment, and let's knock down. No way. Yes, we definitely will knock down this. I see seminary and think that's a Catholic building, isn't it? <laughs> okay, fragment. Fragment. I don't really have a view on what's going on in Vilnius. Hopefully Austria carries on being Austria, but at the same time I wouldn't mind if they ran into some trouble. 
Uh, you stay in. You hit Samuel Balitsky. Oh, that's a very depleted army. I'm just going to that. Chase him down. This, this is the guy that will go out and try to clear these rear areas. Okay. I don't want to buy that because you'll just knock it down. Or they'll just knock it down. Yeah, Corn's captured. My priest. I want him to be secure. In St. Petersburg, let's build a trade port. And let's build a craft workshop. Upgrade you to a steam powered cloth mill. We are France. We bring the light of reason and industry. You go, knock you out. Punish. Let's build you into a. Have I built a church school in Moscow already? I have. Could build more, but give me that money. To be honest, you might head southwest or directly south to help fight in this sort of region, and I might risk. Doing a bit of upgrading, considering they're quite far away. Perfect. Let's hop over to India. They've not fallen for my bait yet. Just make sure you're replenishing, make sure you're replenishing. Cool, cool, cool. Village assiégé! Um, and leave Barra for now. Then I've got you running around being a nuisance. But if I do, yeah, if I do this, that might cause you to turn around and come back. So I'm going to hit end turn and see what happens. That army was the army I have got moving into a decent position against the Austrians for if that occurs. Good, recruitment's carrying on. It would be handy if in the recruitment tab it showed me what units were en route to an army. Because the problem is you recruit them, it leaves the army's recruitment queue, and then exists on the map, but then you don't really have visibility on what the actual... What, arm, what units are actually in the army, or even if... Or even if you could just... Or even if you could just have, I don't know, a note in your army browser that just says, yes, this army is en route. Or just like a little a timer or it's greyed out or something. That'd be pretty neat. But obviously it's far too late to, to have improvements to this game at the minute. <laughs> the Ottomans are a bit of a rock and a hard place. They have Baghdad and they have Levan. And that's it. Uh-oh. I see some lone French troops. French ships. Just auto it. Hey, they've only got one ship left. They... And we, wait, we captured one of theirs, but we lost it. Disaster! You say disaster? That wasn't bad. I'll take that as a good trade. Oh, you, I'm going to run that P uh, St. Petersburg garrison straight into that individual unit. Yep, raid away. Raid away. I'm desperately trying to get to my school to steal my tech. Not gonna happen. Oh, well, the Russians are on the move. They're particularly upset with the Austrians. <laughs> Makes sense that they're being sneaky, sneaky, raidy people. Yeah, the Swedes. It's Swedes going to follow their tradition of going off to that fjord, doing something. And then coming back to carry on with the with the raid, with the blockading. So Louisiana, okay, where are you going? This is where you started, I'm sure. This particular trade region or trade zone. Yep, Mughal priests are going to be on the move, and we are being sallied. Oh, junk! We are being sallied by the garrison at Nagpur. Because it means we can have. 
because it means we can have good old shout, good old attack, good old defense. Sorry. Oh wow, we're deploying the. Okay, we're Mel Gibsoning the hell out of this. Are we even going to do that? Or do I just do that? Do I just take a line of a line of infantry and just go meh? Keep everyone else just limbered up. Well. Keep this artillery limbered up. Keep these guys unlimbered. I know, I'm sure you guys must hate it when I resort to dumb tactics like this, but there's just really no need to do anything that clever. I'm going to triple speed the hell out of it. To be honest, if I realized they going to deploy so far back, I'd have... I'd have deployed up, up on the hill. To be honest, I still might do that. Screw it. This is dumb and it is boring. Let's bring the fight to the enemy because they are really weak. Mortars and all. Guns get up on this hill. There's limbering up. Good and deploy. Now let's triple speed it. And then probably just walk the remainder. Here comes the quick climb. Stretch these guys out a little bit more. And do something like this. Finally, suppose engage your countrymen, because you know that France is the only way this country will advance. That mortar, you better charge that. And then let's do this. Kill the corners in. They're going to run through this bow unit. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Do not stop. Uh oh. Don't worry. Eventually you will get within range. They'll be, you'll be too close for them to engage. Oh, these poor, poor troops. They've just been surrounded. And this is why I like having lots of infantry. It allows you to do stuff like this. So all my artillery up here. Can't really shoot on anything, but I am tempted to try and see if I can get the lob shells onto their onto their general. Last one you're going to get. Okay, make sure you're fire at what I 
I want you to fire at, in general. You run back and hit that artillery unit. You. There we go. General's been sniped off his, off his, off his elephant. And he's off. Yeah, you can't handle it when there's four, 16 cannons shooting at you. This gun is all that remains. Let's try to speed the last, the last defiance of the Indians. Got him. Good. I'm glad I didn't sit back like a little... Um, Good. Nagpa, these guys are going to continue raiding their way towards. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they're going to have. They're going to be so upset when they see what's coming. There is unused land suitable for plantations yeah. in this region. Ooh. Tea, craft workshops, rice farms. Fix and add walls, because why not? Then let's take. Oh, this cavalry. Chop them up. We didn't. Do we lose? Didn't we? Doesn't we didn't lose anyone? Wow. Okay, move you up. And I see you mines, low yield mines, but mines nonetheless. No, don't need a military governor's barracks. Yes, 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 you don't like us. Coaching in. Okay. Let me raid, let me raid, let me raid, let me raid, 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 raid. Fleet destroyed. Port located, port located. Let's get rid of let's get rid of all these. Construction, that's what I want to see. Ports. Good. Just make sure I've not missed an army, <laughs> my navy showing up with my new army. Yeah, you don't like us, and we are taxing you. Well, we're not taxing you, and you are. So you've not sent a letter of demand yet. So you should. Ooh, what's that? Patriotic sword. Francois Marie de Broglie. De Broglie. De Brie de Broglie. So let's take this navy. Let's carry this army across. Sit them to Ahmedabad. Then we will have successfully cut the Indian region in half. Ah, we're en route. And at some point, these traps need to be popped. A bit frame racy there. Sorry, Dagestan. <clears throat> Sorry, Dagestan, you're going to be on my list. So, to be honest, I may just end up moving these guys out if I can. Get them here. Take out Dagestan, so this army becomes, this region becomes pirates and becomes easy to take. Perfect. So then you chase down this raider chap. Good. Now you've got a bit of time to replenish and probably get to this cotton mill. Let's repair the seminary, police your estate, upgrade this building. So there is this guy running around. But I don't really want to... I don't really want to interfere too much. Okay, so... St. Petersburg Garrison, you can leave St. Petersburg, correct? And they are being taxed, perfect. So hit Nikolai Gogunyev. 
Nous avons a single unit of grenadiers. Annihilated, and then I probably want to make you cut towards this bridge to knock them out. You keep moving this way. Because I want you fit to siege Kiev. Crimea is looking a bit. <laughs> you're just cavalry, you're just a mix of infantry, you're a bit of a shattered army. Yeah, yeah, Crimea can defend all against you guys, even if you add these guys into the mix. You'll defend. I think now's the time to move. Okay, first of all, disband the mortars and let's get two really good artillery units. And this army can join the fray and begin to also push. You're still replenishing. Cool. So let's hit and turn. Aha! So I found where the Genoese are. My spies are still on the move. My priest has made it to St. Petersburg to begin converting. Good. Lots of good recruitments going on. I'm sure Austria would like the opportunity to attack me, given that I'm about to surround um, surround its entire territory. Let's see what the Spanish do. Everyone's coming to Paris to steal my tech. Or attempt to, at least, I imagine. At least I assume that's what they're doing. I've never really thought about it, but that's what it feels like they should be doing. Trouble is, though, we're getting towards the tail end of the game. The research, the research I'm doing will eventually be... Well, soon I will have no universities to, to steal tech from. So the conditions are looking ripe for my Courland army to hit Vilnius. They've gone into port. Yeah, you're exactly why I wanted you over here, because you are cheeky little scamps. The Russian gentlemen are also on the way to try to steal my tech. Oh yeah. Some more raiders. I think I might make Moscow recruit a smaller army to chase down raiding forces. Good, these armies are pulling back from the Crimean region and it's the quarterly Swedish little, you know, I love you in the fort. <laughs> you okay, bro? Yeah, I'm still okay, bro. Then they come back out. <gasps> they've, they've broken the pattern. Oh no. <laughs> Just had a look. Yeah, I'd be concerned, Sweden. I'm on my way. So I was on the move. That's the Genoese. And keep a watchful eye on the Genoese. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. That's the guy. You must either appease the riot. You've broken your happiness building. Uh, these are all these chaps. These chaps coming down. You actually need to go up towards Hindustan. So you're not bankrupt. Why are you bankrupt? You should love me. Well, we are going to have a rebellion at some point, but then we'll just drive out and kill them. Keep finishing. Upgrade, upgrade. Well, let's move this Malwa army south. 
keep on the offensive. Let's get you to Ahmedabad. That's not even garrisoned, so I'm just going to take it. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Let's build, upgrade, upgrade, destroy, destroy walls. Blenish. Cool. Upgrade the naval hospital. Upgrade the D plantation. Upgrade the farm. So in next turn, which next turn you'll be grand, but then you'll have mutinied by then. So unless I do policies, eh. they go really tax the rich because the rich love us, so they're going to pay for it. To be honest, I never mess with policies ever. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah, I should leave him like that. Cool. Fleet arrives. We'll get you the hell away from there. Go take Naroon, I suppose. <laughs> Continue the drive. Yeah, not garrisoned either. So... Wowzers. Okay, let's get a trade port on the go. Rice farms. Uh, maybe get a church school. Craft workshop. Upgrade the farm. Upgrade the roads. Wow. That was silly. Very, very silly. Do some infrastructure spending. Yeah. Well, I never build steamships, but for some reason it always feels better to have a to have a steam dry dock. Uh, that's you. Oh my! I'm gonna my recording's gonna cut out <laughs> because I heard my hard drive plug in and out. Yeah, I think it's dying. Well, maybe I might have got away with it. Because nothing's happened. Let's upgrade you. Upgrade the iron workshops. Yeah, be all right. as good as you can be in Edinburgh. Oh, and lots of upgrades in Malwa, but I think I've built them all. So you're on your move. In which case, then let's move. You up to Bishopur and prepare. Because at some point I'm going. At some point I am going to have to kill them. It's just a fact. Hmm. Send this sloop up to go have a look at Bandar Abbas. Yep blockaded it cool because this is good this area is going to now draw the attention of the persians so you would like those walls to be built more rapidly yeah they rioted that's okay cool 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 region captured region captured sweet okie dokie looking at the timer uh, i think we've reached the end of this part so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of france